just like clock keys can come in different sizes, and six being the most common, the keys that operate the speed of the clock that are on the other end of some of these keys that come with the double-ended keys do come in different sizes. You can buy a, a complete array of keys, like I have here, at a clock supplier, and these are all the different sizes available. And you can see by the openings that uh, they go from larger to smaller to fit the other, to fit all the different size um, openings to adjust the speed of the clock. Next thing we're going to talk about is some common tools that you may have around the house if you're a handy person or a hobbyist uh, that you can use to uh, repair clocks. Uh, one thing that you might want to have is a hammer, but a small lightweight hammer because we're not doing heavy duty work here and a heavy hammer uh, can break a clock but a light hammer can be most ideal used for uh, clock repair. Alright, we've got a box of tools here. Here's some glue, you can use that. Some pliers, small little pliers. Got some needle nose pliers. The long ones with the, where you can reach in and get behind and between things. Some curved ones for the same purpose. So a pair of nippers. A magnifying glass. Uh, maybe a set of precision screwdrivers. Regular screwdriver. A level. Small levels are real helpful because we're, we're dealing with small items like a clock. A pair of tweezers, a toothbrush, some Q-tips, a uh, little paintbrush with short bristles. Uh, this one actually had longer bristles, I just cut them off shorter to make it more um, acceptable for the type of work that we're going to be doing. And some toothpicks. And those are some common things that we can use in the field of clock repair. Things that you should have around the house, or a lot of people have around the house, uh, especially if you're a hobbyist. And uh, so that's, and then we'll be talking about some more tools, more specialized tools, also some tools that you can manufacture and adapt and modify for clock purposes. Uh, where do you find these tools? Well, you can find these tools uh, at various hardware stores, uh, hobby stores, craft stores clock supply houses. Uh, many of them have web pages and can be found on the inter internet. Uh, flea markets. Uh, a lot of flea markets will have uh, people that sell tools that you can find a lot of specialized tools that are used for clock and watch repair. Uh, also antique shows. Uh, so a lot of those different places that you can go to to find tools. The next thing we're going to talk about is the proper way to remove hands from the dial.